today let's talk about how to actually practice the Toccato of a 53 by Louis Kim. This short tutorial aims to emphasize a few crucial things you should focusing on while playing this piece. So let's get right into it. Um, the Van Toccato is built out of augmented chords arranged in mostly chromatic, sometimes even whole tone scale, just like that. This hexatonic approach seems to be quite common since Franz Liszt, Doremski, Korsakov, uh, Chopin, Rachmaninoff, Skriabin and others use that frequently as an indicator for pianistic virtuosity. Since the whole piece works with these chords in a very handy way, you should practice those separately in a B-flat pattern. It helps tremendously. Besides that, Pattern recognition can help you spotting typical chord shiftings and repetitions. As a result, and as far as getting more and more used to the hexatonic piano pattern, you do not have to read the entire score anymore because Generally speaking, the hands are just in place. Well, that leads to another conclusion. Uh, don't move your hands at all. It's crucial, especially for achieving the tempo in the end, uh, to stay as close as you may can to the keys of the board. Um, if possible, you should actually keep attached to the keys with the palm of your hands, moving just in early fingers. blindfolded, preventing any key slippings or wrong notes. Of course, this depends um, on the fingering too, starting right with the first bar, the left hand can uh, help out occasionally just like that. This kind of fingering is quite common in the score, so just look for it as it will be an important asset to keep your hand position stable and therefore crucial for achieving the final tempo. Yeah, well, mentioning the tempo, the score says quarter note to 96. As I mentioned earlier, Louis Van was uh, almost blind though. He had indeed difficulties to um, identify the numbers on his metronome properly, so these marks are known to be too fast. Nevertheless, this should not excuse from playing the Toccata in a virtuosic manner, as it is from my point of view even much more important not to play in a quarter note pattern. It's more beneficial for the Vian Toccata to be played in a half note pulse. It makes a huge difference. Um, if you play that in a quarter note pattern, it gets a bit stumpy. Or in a different way. There is another argument, Hans, the tempo, not only in case of the Decalto, but generally speaking about Opus 53 of Bancato Pierre de Fantasy. Um, these pieces were fairly influenced throughout the support of George Alexander Roussel, the organist of Princeton University and the impresario Rockman Wanamaker. And as the original Cavicol organ uh, at Notre Dame in Paris was almost out of use in the mid-twenties, the music by Louis Vian got shaped by the English and American organ tradition just as uh, represented by the famous Skinner organ um, company and the later built Skinner organ at Princeton University for Roussel, uh, I guess it was 1928 if I'm not mistaken. And as you may recall, these instruments uh, got a rather dry acoustic, making a slower tempo a bit dull. Finally, we should talk about registration. What's written in the score is not always right or reasonable. 
If you play the toccata in a full 16-8-4 planum using the 32 puddle rate 2, it's just unbearable and it's written in the score fortissimo, not forte fortissimo, but we can show that. Jean-Baptiste Monod, organist of the Guide Cabriac Col in Rouen, gives an educational example on how to register the piece. Find the video here. First, don't use a 16 basis, it's just too bold. Secondly, as all divisions are coupled together, just enhance the puddle with the 16 reeds bombard and contrabassant. To actually use the trumpet and chamade appears to be a unique idea at the specific instrument in Rouen and it sounds just perfect, adding some clarity and sharpness to the grand arc and the paddle as well. Besides, Arche C without Nassad and Octavine don't color up the texture with Fonny to or play Jeux. Hence, you may need these voices later on in the piece when it says Couplets aigu from positive, which appears rarely at a clavicle organ. Um, so you may imitate the higher pitches by adding doublet and plage. And since I'm playing the Aristide number no. one featuring the great clavicle organ in Rouen, we can just listen to how close um, this sample set gets to the original sound of this famous instrument. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of these thoughts about the famous rent of Cutter of 53. This was Godfrey Toro Druber wishing you after all a very happy new year. Stay healthy and subscribe.